Hmm. Well, apparently, it's Storytime Tuesday. Check this out. So, uh, I was trying to, you know, figure out which one I wanted to be like my first story time. I, I have a ridiculous amount of things to tell y'all. That's why I decided to do these. But I think I'm going to go with, um, let's go with the first time I, I went to a Bone Thugs and Harmony concert. Now, I've been a big Bone fan for years. Um, you know, once upon a time, they was just, um, you know, the, the, uh, another group on the other side of the speaker. You know what I mean? I never knew when I would ever meet them or... You know what I'm saying? Become cool with them, develop a relationship with them, whatever, whatever. Never never really dreamed of it. No, I'm sorry. All I did was dream of it, but didn't know when that would actually come into fruition. So as years go by, you know what I'm saying? Um, Twitter was real big back then, because I, I want to say the concert was in 2009, like maybe like September, like the, like, yeah, September, something like that. So um, I, was I was on Twitter. And I was talking to Crazy Bone, you know what I'm saying? And I was, you know, it, it tripped me out because he would actually respond to me. And, you know, every now and then I got some words in, you know, blah, blah, blah. I thought it was real cool. So I was, uh, I remember telling him um, uh, just about my music or how I would like to work with him. And um, there came a time when uh, uh, he came on Twitter and, and said, hey, y'all, uh, um, tonight is just gonna be Crazy Bone, Lazy Bone, and Wish Bone, you know, uh, Flesh won't be able to make it tonight, or, 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 or something of that nature. So, you know, I'm all excited, like, hey man, I'm coming down to the concert, you know, I'm hitting him in the DM, you know what I'm saying, whoop de -whoop. So, so I'm all excited, I'm like, man, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna make sure I get his attention. So, um, my boy L. Kells, shout out to L. Kells, man. Kells was like, um, I told him about the concert, and he was like, yeah, man, I, I, I'll go with you. You know, I, I, I love Bone. I, I'll stay in Cleveland for a minute. I'll go with you. I like, bet. So we went and got tickets from, um, that's where FYE was in the mall in uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. So grabbed our tickets, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, there was like StubHub or somebody like that that they worked with. Grabbed our tickets, shot down in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Got in there. That was my first time in the House of Blues. Um, so then... Uh, we, we, we get in, and I made sure I stayed close to the front because I saw it was standing room only. I said, let me just make sure I ease my way up here because people wouldn't, you know, they weren't really tripping. They out there drinking, having a good time. Now, that's my first bone concert. I'm like, if I can get close, I'm getting close. So get out there, man, and bone comes out. You know, it's the three of them. Um, you know, they was doing a lot of their songs from uh, uh, Strength and Loyalty, you know what I'm saying, with the singles like I Tried and A Little Love from Mariah Carey and all them joints. That was my first time hearing a crowd get so loud, like my ears were ringing. I never in my life heard a crowd scream that loud for anybody. I'm talking about, bro, they was like, it was wall to wall in that thing, it was packed. It was only three bone members, man. They came out, they, we feeling the rap of the wrong, that bone a big truck, man. The, the people lost their mind, bro. Uh, let alone from when they did all their classic stuff, but people was like, it was, we was just with them all the way, man. The energy was like something I've never felt. So as an artist, it was just inspiring for me just to be in that moment. And as a fan, I was hey, I was overjoyed, you feel me? But I'm talking about, bro, I never heard nothing like that, man. So once again, shout out to Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Your legendary mother. I finally got a chance to meet my boy Tommy Flames, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we used to talk online from time to time, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, I don't know, bro. It could have been Twitter, could have been Facebook. I don't know. He was a cool guy, Bone fan, whatever. So I uh, uh, met him there, man. And me and L. Kells and Tommy took a picture out to the concert, you know what I'm saying? At, at the time, I kept, uh, I, I was wearing my U2DK jersey that had my name on the back. I was still going by Eclipse at the time. So, as I'm, anytime I could get Crazy Bones' attention, I, I, I had my jersey, I took my jersey off and I was like showing it to him. I kept trying to show him, kept trying to show him. He never would look. I'm like, man, come on. I'm like, I've been talking to dude on Twitter, no blah, blah, blah. So, there's one time I hold it up and he, he does see me and he, you know, he, he, he points at it like that, right? So, I'm like, all right, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, you know what I'm saying? Sometime, and, 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 and we're gonna get to that later, but sometime in the concert, you know, as we're partying, we're kicking it, Lazy Bone uh, had a tendency to just go, you know, high five everybody in the audience and, you know, showing love to the fans like they do. So, when he, when he shook my hand, I held his. And with my other hand, I pulled out my mixtape. I dropped a mixtape called The Wake Up Call about the year before. Um, you know, it's like thousands of those in the streets, but we'll, we'll get to that later. This is the cool part. Not only did I give it to him, he, you know, he kind of looked at me as he was performing and he, he, put the, he put the CD in his back pocket. I was hoping that uh, I would be able to interact with somebody with Bone, but I was just like, man, as long as he see me, you know what I'm saying, that'd be dope. And he saw me, you know what I mean? Um, two things about this story uh, that will stand out. 
the first thing is, <laughs> I find out that the Crazy Bone Twitter that I was talking to wasn't even Crazy Bone. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a fake page. So that's the reason why, you know, he didn't really know what was going on as I kept showing my jersey because he didn't know who the hell I was. So I'm like, man, come on, dude. But one of the most awesome moments of the night, I was by uh, a photographer. And I think the guy name might have been Shelly or something like that. I, I hope I didn't mention your name up, bro. Wh uh, whoever you are, wherever you are, uh, peace and blessings to you, man. Much love to you. Because that moment that I gave Lazy Bone my mixtape, First of all, it's just a dope moment for me to remember. Tell me why this man took a picture of that very moment. The moment I handed it to him. He captured it. I don't even know this guy. Never knew this guy, haven't seen him since. And he took a picture of that moment. And um, I, I, I cherish that moment. I cherish that photo. You know what I'm saying? Man, it was a beautiful thing. I just can't believe that God saw fit to put somebody right next to me that was gonna get that moment. Like that was that was that was mind blowing. That was awesome. But later, I'm gonna tell y'all about the moment where I finally met the real Crazy Bone, and I actually talked to him about the fake Crazy Bone. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna search through my hard drives. I actually have footage of me talking to him about it. Uh, first time I met him, first day I met him, and I will show y'all in one of these story times. Until then, man, um, you know, y'all just make sure y'all keep following me, keep rocking with me, keep sharing my videos, keep showing me love, you know what I'm saying? If you're on Facebook, like I say, uh, invite your friends to like my page, you know what I'm saying? If you're on mobile, hit that community tab on my page. Uh, invite your friends right there. If you're on the desktop, look at my number of likes. And there should be a button that pops up that says invite friends, invite your people, man. If you're on YouTube, you know what to do, man. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Until next time.